A man is scheduled to be executed in three weeks for murdering a Hearst putt-putt golf manager in 2006, but the family of victim Jonas Cherry is now fighting to have the killer's life spared, and the system may not let them. Fox 4's Lori Brown is at the Tarrant County Courthouse to explain. Brandon, today the judge's ruling leaves Paul Story's family in limbo, and with his execution set for next month, for him, time is of the essence. Here is video of Paul Story in his red jumpsuit in court today, with the family of his victim now fighting for him. He was hoping for some good news, but with the legal system, things are not that simple. He was convicted of the capital murder of 28-year-old Jonas Cherry, a manager of a putt-putt golf course in Hearst in 2006. It was a robbery. He was 22 years old. He and another man made off with only $700. In a remarkable show of grace, the parents of Cherry have written a letter and made a video asking that Story's life be spared because they don't want his mother to go through what they have. Story's mother does not dispute that her son was involved in an awful crime. She said she is so grateful for the Cherry's family's help. Now she just wants the legal system to do what she sees as its part. Nobody deserves to be, to be killed by man. Um, God is the only one that has a right. We all make mistakes in life, and um, we should be given second chances. And I, I think that his life should be spared. If, if the parents of the victim is willing to help save my son's life, who is the state of Texas to take it? Here is what happened today. District Attorney Sharon Wilson has asked for her whole office to be recused because one of the attorneys in the office used to represent Story. The judge stood behind his decision to grant that request. But to get clemency for the Story family, the family must have the blessing of the DA. So now that will be up to a new special prosecutor on the case. Advocates for Story call it political football. The DA's office said they could not comment. Story set for execution on April 12th. Brandon. All right, Lori Brown, thank you.